Welcome to Know It All, a place to connect with researchers to answer all questions on health, science, technology, business, culture and more. This episode on what is a proof of concept was created for you by Abigail. In this topic, Know It All will answer. What is a proof of concept? What is a successful proof of concept? Why do businesses use proof of concepts? How to conduct a proof of concept? A proof of concept, POC, is a project or system intended to demonstrate the feasibility and practical potential of an idea. It's typically used by businesses when they need convincing that investing in developing a product or service will be worth it. In practice, POCs are often created during the early stages of development as part of market research and customer analysis efforts, however, their application can range far beyond this purpose. This is especially true for more complex projects such as blockchain technology implementations, where experimentation with new technologies may require multiple iterations before being placed into production environments. A successful proof of concept should show how an idea works without having to build out all parts from scratch nor wasting time on unneeded features at this stage. The goal isn't necessarily perfection but rather demonstrating its viability within whatever context it's needed for, examining performance issues related to scalability, compatibility between systems, or showing off user interfaces are common activities associated with running POCs. The hope is to prove ideas quickly using readily available tools and platforms if possible. In order to have a successful POC, there must be measurable objectives agreed upon by all stakeholders involved prior to beginning testing. These objectives will guide activities throughout the entire proof-of-concept phase and ensure that it meets its intended purpose. It's also essential to define success criteria beforehand so everyone has clear expectations from beginning to end. This helps reduce conflicts during review meetings as well as gives tangible results when evaluating performance at each stage of your proof-of-concept program slash project lifecycle. Businesses use POX because it's better to try something firsthand in order to get feedback directly from stakeholders. This gives decision makers tangible evidence upon which to base their investments. Making sure everyone who needs information receives it in an efficient manner helps ensure directors and executives won't waste time mulling over technical details while still remaining informed throughout each step of the journey. The first step in conducting a successful proof of concept is defining what needs to be evaluated or proven out. Is this technology feasible? What components need to work together? Does it meet user requirements? Once you have identified your goals, start breaking down functionality into manageable pieces. Look for ways these tasks could address specific problem points, assign them priorities accordingly and develop timelines. This way the team will know exactly what they have to tackle next and stay focused on their deliverables without getting off track due to extraneous details. Next, determine who will participate in performing tests related to those smaller chunks while being mindful not to allocate more people than necessary, too many cooks spoil the broth. Then create scenarios representing typical use cases customers might encounter after product launch, think outside the box here, recognize areas like scalability, security etc. Evaluate incoming data and then adjust parameters if something didn't quite go right. Try this again a few more times to provide an accurate picture of the system overall. Ideally, you'll get a feeling for possible improvements and a general direction to take products in future versions slash revisions. Finally, based on the collected evidence, draw a conclusion as to whether or not you will push ahead with a full-scale deployment. You can approach larger introduction phases at a later date or decide to cancel altogether, but don't forget to document everything along the journey. Thank you for listening. For more answers to questions on health, science, technology, business, culture and more, don't forget to subscribe to Know It All.